it's like Kamala and Kim. I'm like so, yeah. I'm so excited. K K. I know. I'm talking to Kim Kardashian. <laughs> so, um, you know, I got up this morning and I looked at my calendar. Okay, and now I'm like, you know, we're 59 days, so my calendar's packed today, right? I've got. I'm starting with you guys in Gage, Long Island. From here, I'm going to Manhasset for a day of action. Uh, then I'm going to the Nassau County Young Democratic uh, Committee's uh, summer barbecue. And then I'm going to go to Great Neck and knock doors with Wei Wa Yan, who ran for county legislature yes. and is like, you know, a great leader in organizing and mobilizing our, um, the AAPI community to get out and vote for Democrats. Okay. Yes. So that got me thinking. That's all. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. That got me thinking. Um, about you know how how much has happened in the last eight years and how many people I've met and uh, how many people um, how many groups I've made connections with that I didn't even know eight years ago and I thought back to January uh, when you all invited me to speak at your rally to yes. defend democracy and I told you all a story which I haven't Ooh. told in any other group um, and maybe some of you remember it. You need a beautiful coat. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yes. I told you about the morning after Donald Trump was elected. Mm -hmm. And how I had stayed up, tossing and turning, the whole night before, next to my husband. Um, you know, replaying Trump's attacks, his lies, his attacks on women, immigrants, people of color. U.S. leadership in the world, the free press, democracy itself. And I had worried all night about what did the future hold with Trump as president. Would he escalate his attacks? Would he undermine U.S. leadership in the world? Would he leave power willingly or would there be violence? Would he appoint justices that would overturn Roe versus Wade? So that next morning, I remember telling you all, I got up, I tried to explain what had happened to my children, and then I kind of gave myself a pep talk, and I said, you've got to go on with life, you've got to go on with your day. So I went out and I ran errands, and my errands took me to Michael's, where I went, I bought art supplies for my kids, came, got back in my car, just in time to hear Hillary Clinton giving her concession speech. And I sat there in my car and listened, and when she got to the part um, talking about, you know, all the women who had believed in her and her candidacy, all the worries from the night before came back to me, and I started to cry. And I didn't stop until she stopped speaking. And at that moment, I became self-conscious, right? I'm sitting in the parking lot of Michael's crying. So I looked to my right, and... In the car next to me was a woman about my age sitting there with tears streaming down her face. And as I said at the time, that doesn't sound like a very uplifting story. Two women sitting in the parking lot of Michael's Prime. <laughs> However, I look back on it and think of it as the first moment when I felt a glimmer of hope. Because I realized that there are millions of people out there who care about our democracy just as much as I do, and we just had to find each other. Yeah. And when I look back over the past eight years, that's what we've done. That's what I've done. That's what you've done. That's what all the people I'm going to go see today and work with today have done. We've organized. We've mobilized. Yeah. We've educated ourselves. And we haven't just worked against Trump and against Trumpism, but we've worked for our communities. You made me cry, Kim. Uh, you made me cry. <laughs> we've worked for our communities. We've worked for our environment and protecting it. We've worked for protecting our children from gun violence. We've worked for protecting our reproductive rights. That's been a very hard struggle, but we've worked for it, and now we're going to keep working for it with the New York ERA on the ballot. Again. Uh, we've worked for coming together in protection of the communities that Trump and his people have attacked. So, 
today, as you go out and you get ready to knock on doors and talk to voters, I want you to think about how many people you've met in the past eight years, how many organizations you've become part of, right? Because here we are at another moment. Donald Trump's on the ballot again. Yeah. We have another opportunity to elect our first woman president, right? And now we're so much more organized and mobilized. We understand the importance of down ballot races like mine in a way that we didn't understand back then. We have so much more going for us. So remember that yeah. and let's put it all to work. Let's make all the work we've done come together today and everyone of the next 59 days. Thank you so much. Kim, 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 Kim.